Centuries ago, there was a small tribe that resided in Eastern Europe near the Black Sea. These people were good people, but also a misguided people. First, they worshipped a mythical object they believed was buried at the depths of the Black Sea. And then they began to worship the Black Sea itself, believing that it could empower them, save them, and give them eternal life. But like all misguided people, guidance was sent to them. In the third century, their people were united under the laws of God. Governed by these laws and beliefs, they prospered and grew as a nation. But a beautiful garden can be destroyed with one bad seed. We sent to them a blessing from the sea, and they misinterpreted it. Some of them erred. They began to set rivals and equals to God. They worshipped the sea once again after making their covenant with God. And so we sent the wrath of the heavens upon them, first with conquest after conquest by foreigners, and then with a plague that would make them live in wretched misery for thousands of years. Forced to hide from a world that hunted them while suppressing their irresistible desire, their numbers dwindle. Every woman of the tribe carries the virus in her blood. Some pass it down to their offsprings while others do not. Although the disease still threatens their community, many of them have returned to the ways of God. A new covenant has been made. The disease will not leave them as a people, but they have a chance at eternal salvation once more. Their judgment will be administered at the end of their red ballad.